Hi everybody. Today I am here to show you some things that, um, some accessories or, you know, things that I bought recently that I have been, um, most of them I've been using for probably a week or so now and I really, really enjoy. And then there's one thing that I just got, which actually is a little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be, but I, I'm, I think that I can still use it. So I'm trying a different, um, another thing is, is I'm trying a different camera angle right now. Um, I moved my desk because the way that my, my room was set up or my office is set up, um, the light was kind of behind above and behind me and it just seemed like no matter what lights i put in around me i was still getting like major major shadow right from my head so i moved my desk i've got like this weird setup there's some other things that i want to do that um hopefully i can uh, start getting done this weekend but um for now this is what I'm going to do. So I don't think I can bring my camera up any higher um, where it's where the arm is holding it in position. It would be askew. So there's a couple things I could do. I could tilt it so that I'm that you're looking at it from an angle like this way, you know, um, side to side or but I, I really like the overview. Um, let me know what you guys think, because, it, you know, I think that for videos, camera position matters. Um, there's certain things that I prefer, you know, to watch myself. And so that's the way that I like to run my channel. But I mean, if, if you guys, you know, if it doesn't really matter, then I might try different things. But for right now, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so, um, the things that I want to show you, first and foremost, I want to show you this pen that I got. So um, let me, I'm going to zoom in so that I'm not holding my arms up in the air. So this here is a pen that I got off of Etsy and I've got my computer over here so I can look where I got this from. So this here is from... Uh, Miss Creations by Danny, and all of this stuff I'm going to link up down below, okay? So don't worry about that. But this here was, she had it on sale at the time, um, and I think it was because it was, you know, Halloween kind of um, associated. So it's a, you know, if you look at it, it's very nice um, pen. And then she used polymer clay to put these um, scarabs on it. I think that's how you pronounce it, scarabs. Me, they just kind of look like spiders to me. But she calls them scarabs. S-C, I think it's S-C-A-R-A-B-S, I think is what it's called. Or how it's spelled. So, but when I was looking for this, one, I was looking for a shorter pen. So... If, let me grab my other pen. So this here, and I'm going to zoom back out. So this here is your standard pen. This one here is significantly shorter, right? Let's set these down. It's significantly shorter. So I was looking for that, and then I was also looking for something that's fatter. So I, I've mentioned this before in a video. Um, this portion of my hand cramps up when I'm diamond painting. And so when I'm diamond painting and I'm holding a pen, right, I'm getting, it's like really tight like that, right? You know what I mean? Like you're writing a, a pet a, with a pen. Um, and it's just, it's too thin, right? Like even just doing this right now hurts me right in here. So I wanted something that was fatter. So this is what she called, I think she called it chunky. Um, and, and like I said, I will link this below. I think she called it chunky. So it is thicker. So if you look at the cut of this, of this one here, you've got indentations here. It's a little wider here, indentation here, a little wider on the ends. Well, this, along with the polymer clay on it, 
lends it to be thicker all the way through, right? So let me sit this pen, this green pen aside. So this is way more comfortable in my hand. You can see I'm not squeezing as much. Um, it rests comfortably in the palm or the crevice of my hand. So as I'm diamond painting, I can be more relaxed. I'm not, I, I don't feel like I have to hold it straight up. I can be more relaxed. I can grab things and I can just move, right? And I'm not, it, it's not putting a lot of stress on there. If anything, um, I would say, you know, I would like it to be thicker, um, a little bit more thick. Um, for me, for my hands, they're, they're fat and they, you know, I don't know why I just, it, I need it a little thicker. So, but for now, I've been using this for, like I said, I think for like a week it was, let's see, when did I get it delivered? I got it delivered on the seventh. So maybe two weeks now, I guess maybe. Well, what's today? Today's the no, 10 days, so yeah, a week and a half. So I've been using this with no problem, not cramping up. Um, it feels very comfortable in my hand. The fact that it's shorter um, makes a huge difference because then it's not top heavy. So I, I'm really, really liking this. Now, it did not come with this multi-placer, right? So this is a four-placer, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. What this came with was this tip, and a small straightener and I'm not quite sure where I put the small straightener here it is actually so it came with this little this little straightener so it's tiny but you know it works for the size of this pen but I'm not using it I am trying out this four placer so the reason that I got this four placer if you can see it does not have a huge lip does not have a huge lip. I've got putty in there, so. But it's not thick around the edges. And what I was finding with the other metal placers that I've used was that it kind of bowed out on the edges a little bit. And what that was doing was just put it, pushing all the drills that I had placed aside. So um, I looked for a metal four placer because I am, I don't multi-place a lot, but when I do, I don't do it more than four. Um, so I was looking for a metal one that um, was thinner all the way around and it wouldn't push my drills out. So this one I got on Etsy as well. And um, by the way, before I go back, or before I do this, let me see, I think this was I don't remember how much this pen was. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Because it, it doesn't, I don't think it said it on my order details. Or maybe it did. Maybe, um, maybe if I go, oops. Yeah, so the pen itself I got, it was $16 and then tax was um, $1.20. So um, I paid $17.20 for the pen. So um, then this multi-placer, let's get back to this. This came from BFF DP Pens. BFF DP Pens on Etsy. And this is a, um, it came with some some um, extra little uh, o-rings as well and this multi-placer I got it there was a shop discount so I got it on sale originally it's $19 um, I got it for uh, 1330 plus one dollar tax so I paid 1430 for that so um, and it was a it was a discount 30% uh, off so it's if you go in and want to get it now, it's nineteen dollars for this. Okay, so I paid nineteen or uh, fourteen thirty for that pen, uh, for the multi placer, and I paid um, seventeen twenty for this pen, 
and I really, really love it. Like I am, I am ex super, super. I I love, 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 love this pen. I will. Um, I haven't rated it yet on Etsy because I'm actually going to wanted to do this video and um, send her the video, not for any other reason than to just express to her in person with my own voice of how much I absolutely love this pen. And I'm definitely going to buy some um, again um, as soon as I find another one that I like. <laughs> but I love it. And I, you know, I hope that everybody will go and at least check out her store. I'm not asking you to buy anything. She's not sponsoring me or anything like that. It's not uh, any kind of promotion. I just, I really love it. It's, it's so nice, so comfortable. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. This is really, really good. So thank you very much. Her name is Danny. So thank you very much, Danny, for this. Um, I really love it. And then um, uh, BFF DP pens for the multiplacer. Um, I really love that too. And thank you very much for both of those. So let's set this aside and let's go on to... Um, so that was two purchases. So I've got two more for you. And the other ones are... Um, this next one, I should say, is actually kind of expensive. And I don't blame, I'm gonna zoom back out as much as I can. I, I would not suggest anyone go get it um, unless they are um, not hurting for money, I would say. <laughs> That's so horrible to say, but it's, it's, it's true. I mean, it, it's, it was something that I looked for specifically for me, for what I wanted. So, you know, take it as you will. So what I got here is this table. And like I said, I can't really zoom out. I'm going to try. It's going to be at a little bit of an angle, guys. But bear with me here, okay? So it's this. It's a tabletop drafting table. And... This is not cheap. So this I paid for this here. I paid um, a total of $169.58 off of Amazon for this. And um, why did I spend that much money? I'll tell you why. <laughs> I wanted something that I could angle up. Now I know you're saying, well, why didn't you just get one of those tabletop easels? You know, they're, you know, 40 bucks. Well, because I had one and it didn't work well for me. Um, they're designed for painting more than anything. And um, I wanted something that tilted up a little bit, but not a lot. And they were very flimsy, right? Because... They're not meant, they're meant for you to paint on. They're not meant for you to put pressure on. So um, that's why I was looking for something sturdier. Another thing that you might say is, well, if you're going to pay that amount of money for something that's tabletop, why not just buy a whole drafting table? Well, because I have a really cool desk that is not very old. This, this desk that you see under here, it's really awesome. I love it a lot. I have also a second desk that's a craft table, a collapsible craft table that I use. I don't have room for another big piece of furniture, but this is awesome. And it has, so if you look at the back of this, one of the reasons why it's so awesome is being a drafting table, it is um, set up to be this movable lever here that's on the side here this movable letter lever is set up for you to draw pristine lines right so it moves all the way through the table it's um cable uh set up it has legs on it so as you can see you can pull these legs up so it tilts up more not only that but it has these rubber feet on it so what this does is it allows me instead of leaning over 
my desk to look down at my thing. Um, it allows me to pull it closer to me and these grooves are designed to fit on the edge of your desk. So you can pull the work closer to you rather than um, leaning over it and hurting your back. One of my biggest pains right now that I'm suffering from is my posture. And I have severe, severe pain in right at the, uh, the top of my spine at the base of my neck from my posture and from leaning over because I not only do it here for this, I do it at work as well. So I needed something that I could move that could conform to me, right? That's another reason why I spent the, the amount of money. Um, so with the feet up, with the feet up, it leans at an angle. And I know you really can't tell right now, but it leans at an angle. And then, like I said, I can sit it on the edge of my table. I'm gonna move this kind of at, at, at an angle so you can see the edge of my table. I can lean it on here, find the grooves, and it doesn't move. Like, I could shake. I'm shaking my entire desk. It does not move. And that's what I love, right? One of the things that I love. Thank you for being patient with me with the weird camera angle. So the next thing that I wanna show you, I'll leave it angled on my desk so that you can see this top part. So this here, I also love. And the reason that I love it is, um, I do big paintings, yes, but I do um, some that are smaller, right? So this here, if I can grab my tape measure, because I can't remember off of the top of my head what the um, dimensions of this is. So I'll do it by inches. So this, um, from side to side, is just under 21 inches, right? So 21 inches left to right, and then you've got roughly 16 inches top to bottom. So if you're looking at that, 21 inches, if you're thinking diamond painting, diamond painting terms, 21 inches is right there. So you're looking at, um, it can house a diamond painting that is um, 53 inches wide. And let's see, oh, did I say 16 this way? 53 by 40. So you can do a 40 by 50 comfortably on this. Now you could do a 50 this way, right? Left to right. And you could do, uh, you know, whatever length this way. And that's where this comes, comes in handy. So I can have this tilted up like this, be working on it comfortably, have it rolled at the back, and I have it under here. This adjusts. So if I unlock it this way, this goes up and down. I don't know if you can tell, but it goes up and down for me to put the diamond painting or paper, whatever it is, underneath of it. And then these on the sides go the full length of the table and because it's on those springs you can get it really precise it's got really good directions on it you can get it really pr precise so I lock it in a place here right and you can even you can even do it at an angle too if you wanted a little bit at an angle if you wanted to I think I could be wrong on that but anyway so I lock it down this way. I can still move it up and down. I get my diamond painting in place. Why is that one like, that one was, was really weird. I get my diamond painting in place. Oh, did this get messed up? I think that got messed up. Oh, I shouldn't have taken it off. Oh, that's why, that's why there. Get that in there like so. Sometimes if you tighten it too much, it'll, it'll spring the wrong direction. So you wanna just be careful. Got 
I still have that in at a weird angle. Not that you guys really need for me to go through all this. I can do this on my own time. But in any event, I can lock this down like so. Lock this down like so. I have to fix that. Lock both of these down. Lock both of these down. There we go. I fixed it. Lock both of these down, like I was saying, and then it's it's good. I have my diamond painting under there. I don't have to worry about it rolling up on me. I can keep what I'm working on or what I'm not working on rolled back over here. I can sit comfortably, work on this section down here, and I am good to go. And it's portable. It's got a handle on it. See? So I can take this anywhere with me and diamond paint and be completely comfortable. And it's good quality material. There's nothing, you know, I mean, it's very smooth. Um, you could potentially use this as a brace for a light pad if you brought it all the way down, all the way down to the bottom. You could, you know, put your light pad up against it. Um, there's so many things that you can do with this. And I absolutely, absolutely love it. So, like I said, it's not for everybody. It was very expensive, and um, but it is, for me, extremely worth it. And like I said, you've got your, your cables there. You've got, you know, how to calibrate, how to fine-tune the straightness, all that good stuff on there. And it's just, it's fantastic. I'm, I, I love it so very much. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So let me set this aside real quick. Tape measure over there. And let's show you the last thing that I got. So the last thing I got, I'm not going to be able to get on the camera, but I will do the best that I can. I got this 64 tray or cubby holder, right? Now I was thinking that it was going to be thinner than what it is, and I'll, sh I'll show you why. I was thinking that it was going to be thinner. I, for some reason, I, I didn't pay attention to the dimensions. However, I still think that I can use it um, for drill storage, which is what I was getting it for anyway. I originally was thinking, well, it would be good to use for kitting up purposes. Probably still could do it that way, depending on what you're doing. But I think it would also be a good... Um, storage thing. Right now I'm doing what everybody else is doing. I've got them in shoe boxes and that to me is so cumbersome because if I want to look at it or find something that I have to like, you know, go and pull out all the drills and like find what box it is and, and it's just, for me, it's a pain. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I like change. I like things that are different. So we'll see if this works. So let me get it so that you can see it. And this thing, like I said, is big. And you can actually wall mount this if you wanted to, but um, I probably won't. This is probably something that um, you would see in a shop. Like, you would see in a, like a, uh, um, what, a, you know, like somebody working you know, like a wood shop or something like that. Something that holds screws, right? So these have containers, 64, eight up, eight down. And it's big. So, and I know you can't really see it because it's so big and I can't get my camera up there, but I wanted to show you at least kind of what it looked like, right? So it's a big cube. Thing is, is that this thing, I can't even show you how thick this is. And I, like I said, I was, I was, I was like, I can't, I, why was I not thinking about how deep this thing was? So this is, um, this is, so seven inches deep by, by just like 15 and a quarter, 15 and a quarter, no, 15 and a half inches um, tall by mm, 
19, just under 19 and a half inches wide, right? And I know the camera's really weird, bear with me. So if you see, this is how big. I thought for some reason, I thought they were half this length, right? That's why I was like, oh my God, this is so thick. So, you know, so deep. But I still think that I can use it. They, they fit in here nicely. You can take them out very easily. Um, I was thinking that um, maybe what I can do is I can section them out for like different colors. Like I could make each row different colors and then I could put the drills in baggies in here, right? Or something like that. That way I can quickly see the colors. I can quickly grab what I need and it's not in a shoe box where I'm trying to figure out what in the hell I'm doing with these things. And then I was thinking, you know, I could use it for my specials, right? But it, the, the truth is, just like everybody else, you wind up saving drills and because you don't want to waste them, right? They give you all these extra drills and you don't want to waste them. You want to be able to um, use them again. And I plan on using them for cross stitch patterns or, you know, things like that. My husband draws, so I, I'd like to get him to draw me some pictures so that I could diamond paint them, you know, coloring book images. I've got a lot of things that I want to do. Um, and the, the fact is, is I'm probably going to use regular drills more than my, um, my rhinestones or, you know, specials. So I want to be able to see what, what drills I have and what drills I don't. Um, this is big. Um, I do have to find a spot for it because like I said, it's, it's a lot bigger than I thought, but I think it, I think it's going to work for, um, storage, you know, just, uh, for extra diamond paintings. And maybe I'll get frisky and ask my husband to mount it on the wall. We'll see. <laughs> but I, I know, like I said, it's difficult to see. I can lay it flat again so you can kind of see it. You know what I mean? But you're really not getting the full picture because of the way my camera is. Um, so this I got off of Amazon as well. And this was um, $43.80. And it's pretty sturdy plastic, right? If you can see this, I mean, it's bendy, but it's not, it's, it's pretty thick. Like I can, I can twist it, but I can't collapse it. Right. Um, I think, I think that these, these will be good. And the tubs here, let me, let me measure one of these for you so that you can see. So you're looking at a, um, and I'm not counting the handle part just the inside so that you can know how much room you have so you've got a little over six inches you've got like six and a quarter inches um, long and you've got um, just under two inches uh, wide right so you've got a good amount of space there so if you're thinking about it I've got some some specials here that are still in bags so if you're thinking about it and you've got your baggies you can throw them in here right throw them in there and you got it stored and you can put a label on the front there and then you just pull it out and you've got okay well i've got these 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 and these right so um that's what i'm looking at um, my specials I actually have in a couple of Art Dot um, containers, and I've got more of those coming for my specials because I have a ton, a ton of specials. But um, I thought maybe, you know, 64, I could section it out maybe and do half of it rounds and half of it squares um, so that it's all visually right there for me because I have a problem uh, with if it's not in front of my face I forget about it and never use it and that's another real problem with me with the drills being in a shoe box or a, a photo box I should say I, they're not in front of me so then I think well you know I don't have them or I can't find them or whatever it may be and then you know um, they'll wind up just sitting there and I'll never use them and I know that I want to use them as I accumulate more I don't have a lot so far but I have a lot of big diamond paintings that I want to get through this year so yeah 
I've rambled on way too much. So let me get this out of my out of my view here. And again, I just want to show off this beautiful pen. I am going. I, I love it so much. Um, and yes, uh, what I said earlier was. I will link everything down below and at least please go check out the stores. The stuff on Amazon, yeah, you don't have to check out, but um, these Etsy stores, just go check them out. Go, you know, go see what they what they have to offer. Um, uh, Miss Creations by Danny, she has a lot of pens on there. Um, so if you're looking for a different kind of pen, shorter, different variety, um, she's got all kinds of stuff on there, so go check it out. Check out BFFDP pens for the multi-placers. She's got a couple different sizes on with this this metal tip here, um, and then uh, the Amazon, um, like I said, the storage tray and the drafting the portable drafting table is phenomenal. I love it. So go check all of these out and. Yeah, have a great time, great day, great weekend, <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.